Have you ever heard of a temple that isn't just sacred, but scientifically mysterious too? Deep in Tamil Nadu, India, lies the ancient Chidambaram Nataraja Temple, a place where spirituality and science seem to meet. But there's something incredibly unique about this temple. It aligns almost perfectly with Earth's magnetic equator. Now you might wonder, what's the magnetic equator? Why does it matter that a temple aligns with it? And did ancient Indian sages and architects know about Earth's magnetism thousands of years ago? In this video, we'll explore seven fascinating facts about the Chidambaram Temple's alignment with the Earth's magnetic equator. From the temple's divine architecture to hidden scientific marvels, you'll see why this isn't just a place of worship, but also a symbol of ancient wisdom that still puzzles modern science. Let's start with the first point. What is Earth's magnetic equator? Before we talk about the temple, let's understand a simple concept. The Earth's magnetic equator. Earth is like a giant magnet. It has a north magnetic pole and a south magnetic pole, just like the ends of a bar magnet. In between these poles runs an invisible line called the magnetic equator, where the Earth's magnetic field is horizontal, flat, not tilted like in other regions. It's not the same as the Earth's normal equator, which divides the planet into northern and southern halves. The magnetic equator is based on magnetic forces, and it keeps shifting slowly over centuries. Why is this important? Because areas on the magnetic equator have unique properties. They have balanced electromagnetic energy, lower magnetic disturbances, and special bioenergetic harmony, which affects humans, animals, and even architecture in interesting ways. And guess what? The Chidambaram Temple is located very close to this magnetic equator in a way that feels more than just coincidence. Let's dive deeper. Chidambaram Temple, a cosmic masterpiece. The Chidambaram Temple, also called Thilai Nataraja Temple, is over 1,000 years old. Some believe even older. It is dedicated to Lord Shiva in the form of Nataraja, the cosmic dancer. But this isn't just a temple. It's a living symbol of cosmic knowledge. Ancient texts say it was built based on Agama Shastra, ancient Hindu temple building rules, and cosmic principles. Every part of the temple symbolizes something, from the human body, the cosmic dance, to even quantum vibrations. Now, here's what makes it even more fascinating. This temple was constructed with such precision that its location aligns very close to the Earth's magnetic equator, and some say its design even mirrors human DNA and chakras. That's not a coincidence. Let's look at how this alignment affects both spiritual and scientific energy at the site. Perfect alignment, temple on the magnetic equator. Imagine this. Hundreds of years ago, without satellites or magnetic compasses, ancient builders chose a spot deep in Tamil Nadu to build a grand temple. But not just any spot, one that sits almost exactly on the Earth's magnetic equator at 11.4 degrees north latitude. How did they know? That's the mystery. Modern scientists later mapped India's magnetic field and were amazed to discover something incredible. The Chidambaram Temple stands right on one of the Earth's most powerful natural energy lines. Why does this matter? Because on the magnetic equator, the Earth's electromagnetic energy flows smoothly and evenly. It's like the perfect tuning zone for nature's hidden frequencies. People who visit often say they feel instantly calmer, more focused, or even spiritually recharged, as if the air itself carries peace. The magnetic harmony of this location also protects the temple from external disturbances, creating an invisible bubble of serenity. Experts believe that temples built along such lines amplify spiritual vibrations, making it easier for devotees to connect with something beyond themselves. And remember, this was all done long before science had a name for it. Coincidence? Or a sign of ancient genius? Ancient architects and magnetic knowledge. Did ancient Indian sages know about Earth's magnetic field thousands of years ago? They didn't have satellites or magnetic meters, but they had intuition, observation, and deep spiritual science. 
In ancient Hindu texts, like the Agamas, it is written that temples must be built where the energy flows are high and balanced. These are often geomagnetically stable spots. Chidambaram Temple is a perfect example of this ancient wisdom in action. Builders used natural stone, golden tiles, and materials that conduct and reflect energy. The temple's sanctum is placed in such a way that magnetic north lines up with the main deity. Its sacred geometry, golden ratio, vastu, matches Earth's magnetic flow. They may not have used modern words like magnetic equator, but they understood Earth's energies better than many scientists do today. This connection to Earth's magnetic lines may also be the reason the temple radiates a unique calmness that many pilgrims can feel. Energy fields and human body connection. Have you ever felt peaceful in certain places without knowing why? That's not magic. It's energy. And your body feels it. Just like the Earth has invisible energy lines called magnetic equators, your body has its own energy highways called chakras and nadis. These energy centers help keep your body, mind, and soul in balance. Now here's the exciting part. When you walk into the Chidambaram Temple, it's like stepping into a giant tuning fork that vibrates with the Earth's energy. The temple sits right near the magnetic equator, where the Earth's magnetic field is most balanced. People say that standing inside the sanctum, where Lord Nataraja dances, feels like your inner energy gets aligned, just like a musician tuning an instrument to perfect pitch. You feel calmer, clearer, and more connected. That's why sages and yogis chose places like Chidambaram to meditate, because here, nature and the soul dance together. It's almost like the temple is whispering to your body, Relax. You are in harmony now. The ancient builders knew this secret. They didn't just build temples. They built energy gateways where the earth and human body become one. The Chidambara Rahasyam, the secret of space. One of the most unique aspects of the Chidambaram Temple is the Chidambara Rahasyam, or the secret of Chidambaram. In the sanctum, behind a curtain, there is nothing visible, just a space with golden bilva leaves hanging. This symbolizes that God is formless. He exists in the energy, in the space, and in the vibration, not just in idols. Now think about this. A temple located on the magnetic equator, where energy is balanced, with no central idol, but a focus on space and vibration. Could this be ancient science, showing that consciousness exists beyond form? Even modern science says energy cannot be destroyed, only transformed. The space behind the curtain in Chidambaram isn't just empty. It represents Akasha, ether, the fifth element the medium through which energy travels. This temple teaches us that true divinity is in the space between atoms, in vibration, in silence, and this aligns perfectly with both quantum physics and spirituality, modern science and new discoveries. Believe it or not, what ancient temple builders knew thousands of years ago, modern scientists are only now beginning to understand. The Indian Institute of Geomagnetism discovered that areas like Chidambaram, which lie near the magnetic equator, have lower magnetic noise, meaning the area is naturally calm, balanced, and energetically peaceful. Even NASA has studied such places to learn more about space weather and how radio signals travel. But it doesn't stop there. Architects today are amazed at how ancient temples like Chidambaram built without machines or computers, remain cool during heat, stand strong through earthquakes, and seem to boost human energy just by being there. Some scientists and wellness experts believe that just standing in such places can help with reducing anxiety and stress, helping people sleep better, making meditation feel deeper and clearer. Isn't that amazing? This temple, built more than 1,000 years ago, hasn't shifted cracked, or lost its magic. It's still perfectly aligned with the Earth's natural forces, like it was designed by nature itself. Chidambaram isn't just a temple. It's a timeless energy station, a spiritual lab, and a living mystery that connects science and the soul. Conclusion. Chidambaram, the temple that breathes with the universe.
Chidambaram is not just a temple. It's a living mystery, where science bows to silence and spirituality dances with energy. Its perfect placement on the Earth's magnetic equator is more than coincidence. It's a cosmic clue, showing us that our ancestors didn't just build with stone. They built with wisdom, intuition, and unseen science. Here, every pillar whispers ancient secrets. Every step brings you closer not just to God, but to the divine energy inside you. Whether you come as a devotee, a scientist, or a curious traveler, Chidambaram offers you something profound, a space where your mind quiets, a field where your body heals, a temple that reminds you the universe is within. So next time you stand beneath its sacred roof, pause, breathe, feel. Because in that moment of stillness, you may realize you are the temple. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more inspiring content. See you in the next one.